Faust here at Fun Time Campers mm, 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 here in Indianapolis, Indiana. I want to show you something that maybe just might work for you. Now, I know I'm standing out by the highway and it's hard to hear, so we're going to go inside. But I want to introduce you to the KZ Sportsman 363 FL Park Model. Let's go take a look. As you can see, it's a big one. It's not something you're gonna put behind your little SUV, although virtually all three quarter tons and many half ton trucks can pull it, being that it weighs roughly 10,000 pounds. But you can see there's a lot to it. But oh, what a beautiful park model it is. Now stepping in is it's just as easy as sliding this door open. And actually walking in to a pretty palatial park model camper. I mean, this is not your regular camper. This is designed to be exactly what it's called, a park model. We're going to get into that in just a little bit. I just wanted to show you a little bit of how much living space there is. Let's kind of start back here. Uh, plenty of cabinet space. Uh, this is actually a queen size fold out bed. You have theater seating, which electronically reclines, has USB outlets, is heated, and massages. All of, yeah, it has all of that. And so from that vantage point, you also have a TV and a functional fireplace that will, yes, augment the furnace in extremely cold weather, and uh, it'll heat the camper down to about, uh, well, when it's 45 out, you won't even have to turn on the furnace. Look at this galley. You know, I'm gonna call it more than a galley. This is a kitchen. You've got a full-size oven and a microwave, you know, that standard stuff, but I mean, look at all of the counter space, all the way down through here. Put your trash can in here. There's all kinds of room for pots, pans, etc. Look at this pantry right here. And if that's not enough, we've got another pantry right here. And if you choose to take it on the road again with your three-quarter ton pickup truck or capable heavy half ton, it's got a tire monitor system with it as well. So you can avoid those blowouts due to underinflation. Okay, this is a regular residential fridge. This is stuff that you see in your house. I mean, this, is, this unit's so new, it's still got the packing on it. But you can get an idea of what it'll haul. Now back, look, even little cubbies right in here. Uh, the, ta the dinette table, this will fold out. I can't do it one-handed, uh, but this will fold out and extend into a larger table. All of the chairs even have little cushions that will hide things such as cards, board games, or your favorite peacemaker that is in measured in the forms of calibers. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, just imagine, you are on your piece of property or at a campground, and you've got this sliding door here. Obviously it has blinds, I can shut those, but you've built a deck around it. You can go out and have your morning coffee or in the night, your evening uh, libation. Just think about that. Now we're gonna go back here to the bathroom. And again, being a park model, everything's bigger in these things. You've got a, you know, this shower, I mean, for tall people can fit right in. Look how, look how much room there is. And if you've got a little bit of girth, hey, not a problem. Again, plenty of storage there and there and down there. I'm trying this new app on my phone, so you know what? You're just gonna have to bear with me. Now, and into the bedroom, which does have its own entrance door. You've got a king size bed. That's the sliding glass door, or the, the screen for the sliding glass door. Got it sitting in here and then we'll put it on uh, upon delivery. If, you know, if somebody chooses to buy this unit. Uh, again, storage up above there. 
you have storage down there. It's a dresser. And you can set a TV right there because right up there you can plug right into it. And this does have a built-in Wi-Fi extender. Now let's uh, take a look here. What is this? Well, you know, it could be a closet, a sizable closet, or it can be a laundry room. It's already set up for a washer and dryer. Again, being a park model, this is designed for full-time living. You know what? If you decide to keep your house and you've got a spot down, say, in Florida or whatever, and you want a snowbird, this is the perfect camper. Look at all that room. Tons of room to hang everything. And more room down here. Here's a place to put your shoes. And up under the bed, there's even more room. Can I get that in there? Yes, I can get that in there. Tons of room. Imagine waking up, just coming out, smelling fresh brewed coffee because there's plenty of room for your coffee maker. There's plenty of room to cook breakfast. There's plenty of room for your air fryer, your instant pot, whatever you want. Again, this is this is set up for full-time living. You know, face it, a lot of campers, as nice as they are, the smaller ones, yeah, you know, you've gotta you've gotta cramp some things in and do some planning. But again, you know, this this is compartmentalized. You can have company over, you can entertain, you know, a card game here, watching movies from there and there, maybe a conversation there. And again, if you want overnight guests, that's a queen size fold out. This is comfortable. Uh, park models have a distinct advantage. Again, you put them in one location, even though they can be towed, and you can use them all year round with the proper preparations, might I add, you know. We'll get into that at some other time, or you can call me and ask me. But um, let's say you buy a piece of property, and it's fairly cheap. You can put this on there and not be taxed for it and have a residence. Now, I'm not, a, I'm not an accountant, so I don't know the tax laws of every state. I know that in this state of Indiana, you are not taxed on your RV. It's considered an RV. So all you're doing is paying tax on the property, yet you can live in this full time. Have everything that you ever wanted in your house. This is better than a tiny home. And uh, look, we all know, and we're feeling the pressure too. Uh, because of a certain administration, our gas prices are completely out of sight and not everybody wants to spend that kind of money to tow a camper around. I understand. It's sad, I hate it, but I understand. So what's wrong with something like this? Instead of wasting that money on gas, invest in a little piece of property. You can find property anywhere and at a very reasonable price or go to a campground and get a seasonal spot. Leave it there. And you know, the campground, like in my case, the campground is 15 miles away. I go there and it feels like I'm a world away. You can still have your cake and eat it too by being in a park model. So think about that. You don't have to have a truck. We can deliver it. Once it's set up, it's all yours. And you can enjoy all the amenities that people who travel around do. Pick the right campground, you'll enjoy it. I'm a full-time camper and I wouldn't trade it for anything. So again, this is Eric Faust. You know how to get a hold of me. If you're interested in this, talk to me, okay? Hey, we'll catch you around. Take care now.